Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a review of my one month no buy that I went on from January 17th until February 17th. Was I successful? Did I complete it? And what is buying going to look like for me for the next few months? Let's get into it. So I had a no buy going. If you didn't see the introduction of that no buy, then I'll try and link it up over here um, so you guys can watch that video first. But basically I went on a no buy for my skincare, my body care, my candles, and makeup. I'm kind of like, I'm okay with my makeup category where it is right now. I've actually been really good about not buying too much. So I wasn't worried about that. My skincare inventory had been getting a little out of hand. Um, I had been steadily getting through, you know, some mini products, but I had still been buying a lot, so I really wanted to slow that down. And also, I had been buying like crazy during the holidays for body care and candles, so I really, really, really needed to slow down, um, especially when SAS was going on. I was kind of buying like crazy. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to get all of that in check. So before SAS ended, I decided to go on a no buy and I was successful in a few categories and in one category I was not successful. So the one section that I was not successful in was my skincare products and I did buy three of those in the past month. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I bought and when I bought it I have up on my phone my purchase tracker. So on the 23rd I bought two minis and they are the Cetaphil mini moisturizer and cleanser. Um, I saw them in the store and I was like kind of about to run out of my cleanser so I figured I would just like buy them but um, I actually had two more cleansers left so I haven't even started on this cleanser yet so this was kind of like unnecessary. Um, I forgot that I had like a mini cleanser that I still need to get through before I even can use this so this one was like kind of unnecessary. It was only three dollars but still like I really didn't need to buy that. The moisturizer however I actually don't mind that I bought this because I did run out of my moisturizer. I have been using this for the past like three weeks. Um, so I'm actually not sad that I bought this. I'm glad that I have this. Um, it's actually been working totally fine. Um, and you don't have to use too much. I actually really like this uh, moisturizer so far. Um, and yeah, I'm glad that I have it. So this one actually was not a bad purchase. I kind of see it as a repurchase. Um, or like a replacement purchase um, since I did run out of my moisturizer. I have a heavy duty moisturizer um, that is very, very thick and I kind of don't want to use that for daily use. Just kind of sometimes when I need it, when let's say like my eczema flares up or when it's super cold outside, I can wear it at nighttime. Um, but yeah, this is a good everyday moisturizer and I'm glad that I have it. So those two I bought on the 23rd of January and this other thing I bought on the 7th of February and it was $52 and it is the Cosmetics Pure Enzymes Cranberry Exfoliating Mask. So I actually went um, and had my first ever facial at Milk and Honey Spa in downtown Houston and um, when they were doing the spa treatment on me, she used this enzyme mask and she said, because I have a lot of texture under my skin and it's actually bacteria being trapped by wearing the mask all day, so it really doesn't even have a chance to form into actual like pussy whiteheads. It's just kind of staying underneath my skin. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it's just like texture underneath my skin and it's trapped bacteria. So an enzyme mask, she said, would be very helpful to kind of um, get in there and get rid of the bacteria before it even has a chance to resurface or, you know, get it away from being just texture on my skin. So she kind of sold me on it while I was there. And so I did buy the mask. It was $52. And I'm not sad that I bought this. I actually am. I've only used it like three or four times. You're only supposed to use it maybe twice a week um, in the shower. So the steam gets in your pores. And um, I've been really liking it. I have not really seen like significant results yet, but like I said, I've only used it two or three times. So I don't think I can really count it out just by using it that many times. So we'll see over the next few months, but I am not really, I'm not mad that I bought this. It was expensive, but this brand is good. I do have other stuff from this brand. So I'm not mad that I bought it. So besides that, I honestly did not step foot in a Bath and Body Works in the past month, which is crazy for me because usually I'm in there like 
in their like swimwear no i'm in there like at least once a week um just like smelling things and seeing what the new stuff is especially over the holidays i kind of went crazy so i'm glad that i kind of limited myself and went a little back um and yeah i feel totally fine like i feel like i have enough candles and enough body care that i really don't need to buy anything um but i do want to go in the store and smell things which i did do that um a few days ago once my no buy had ended i went in store and i smelled things i did not buy a single thing i'm very proud of myself but i wanted to smell all the new collections because i hadn't been in store since sas um and so i hadn't seen any of the new spring or summer stuff so i went in and smelled that but i didn't buy a single thing so i'm very proud of myself for that and i think this no buy kind of you know put it in my head that it's okay not to buy things all the time so where do we go from here well i think i am going to keep on a low buy and possibly a no buy so i think for skincare i am going to stay on a no buy i'm only going to buy things if i need them to replace something that i've completely run out of so let's say i run out of my cetaphil moisturizer which is the only moisturizer that i have right now that is like an everyday moisturizer then i can buy a new one but i cannot buy any more face masks any more um, cleansers any more stuff like that until i run out of it so i did buy a toner the other day because i ran out of my toner so that's totally fine um i think i'm going to keep the no buy on my skincare at least for the next couple of months until i can get that collection a little lower and lower so i will be doing inventory updates along with this um but yeah i'm gonna stay on a no buy for skincare I really don't think I need to limit myself for makeup right now. I'm really not buying anything unless like, yeah, I'm really not buying anything for makeup. So I don't think I need to limit myself on the makeup purchases um, for body care and candles. So for candles, I think what I'm going to be doing is a four out, one in low buy. So that means I have to finish up four candles to be able to buy one new one. So for three wicks to be able to buy one new one and for single wicks to be able to buy one new one, which I did actually purchase a three wick candle because I did finish up four candles in the past couple of months. Um, since 2021 started, I finished up four three wick candles. So I let myself buy one three wick candle. Um, so that's what I'm going to keep doing for candles. I do have a few that I can exchange and those kind of won't count. Exchanges won't count towards that total. But yeah, I'm going to keep going with the four out, one in low buy for candles. For body care, it's a little bit harder. Um, some of my uh sections of my body care inventory are larger than the others so like body lotions i have a ton of but body creams i don't have a ton of so what i think i'm going to be doing is a no buy on body care unless it is those um, sections of my collection that are very small so i can buy body creams i can buy pocket backs i can buy hand lotions i can buy i think that's going to be about it so yeah, I'm not gonna label it as a no buy. I'm just kinda gonna use my discretion um, and try not to buy anything. And if I do buy anything, then I can buy something in those um, sections of my body care inventory that I have a lot less of. So I do have a lot of exchanges that I can do. I have four body lotions I can exchange, two shower gels and two fine fragrance mists that I can all exchange and those won't count at all. So I think that's why I can kind of stay clear of buying anything for now because I really, I don't need anything. And if I need something, then I can do an exchange. So I think we're gonna keep on a low buy for candles and for body care. Um, and yeah, I don't have any specific parameters for body care. I'm just gonna like leave it up to my discretion. Um, but I do wanna keep getting that body care collection slower, um, lower and lower and lower. So. That is it for my update on that no buy and now we're in low buy territory so let me know down below if you guys have done a no buy recently or if you are currently on a low buy let me know down below and thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in the next video bye